This video is made available to you for free on a free platform. It's on YouTube and whichever other platform I have it on, whether it's Vimeo or Facebook, you will be able to see uh, this video completely free of charge. What this video will contain is some educational commentary, even some teaching, along with some research regarding the content that we're going to be going over. What you have here that is circled in a blue line is the will of God with respect to the land of Israel. Now that's a very bold statement, but I'm going to go ahead and back it up with scripture. What you're looking at right here is the kingdom of David. Okay? Notice how it goes all the way up to encircle Antioch. You know, the believers were first called Christians in Antioch. This is up in Syria, or this is up in what is known today as modern day Syria. To the right of Antioch, or I should say east of Antioch, you've got Aleppo. You've heard about Aleppo so often in the news, okay? So, what you're looking at here is actually part of the Promised Land, okay? In Genesis chapter 15, verse 18, and I'm going to scroll down and just uh, slide the map over to the verse that you see right here. In Genesis chapter 15, verse 18, the Lord clearly presented the boundaries of the Promised Land. He, he told Abram, while Abram was asleep, okay, he told Abram that it would be everything from the river of Egypt, which is right down here, and we know that the river of Egypt is the Nile River, okay? So this is actually the, the lower boundary of the Promised Land, right, right down here, the river of Egypt. And what did he say the other boundary was? The Great River, the river Euphrates. And so here you have the Euphrates River. And what King David did, and Chris, we talked about this in the previous video. What, what King David did is he accomplished what God promised to Abraham. And this, I believe, is the reason why the Lord refers to David as a man after his own heart because, and he provides the reason why, he provides the explanation immediately following that, as the Lord said, David would do all of his will. Okay, David would do all of God's will. In Acts chapter 13, in verse 22, what does the Lord say? Or through his word, it says, and when he had removed him, in other words, when the Lord had removed Saul as king. He raised up for them David as king, to whom he also gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, who will do all my will. Now, you know, Chris, you and I in the previous broadcast, we were talking about how, you know, David was a flawed man, so it's it's very interesting that the Lord would speak of him in this way as a man after his own heart, a man who would do all of God's will. All right, so I see some good comments coming in there. Uh, Eric, I, I appreciate the engagement there. I'm going to uh, take a look at that in just a moment here. But what we have right here is the Lord referring to David as a man after his own heart. Because why? Because he would do all of God's will. What I submit to you is that what the Lord was referring to was this right here. Because David, in fact... Hey, Kathy, how you doing? Good to see you, sister. All righty. What we're looking at right here is in this blue outline was the will of God. This is what the Lord 
promise to Abraham. So in other words, that promise that, that the Lord made to Abraham, that was the will of God. And I submit to you that if it was the will of God then, then it still is the will of God now. Hi friend, Damian Jordan for The Why Shall Understand. And what I'd like to tell you about right now is a book that is available entitled The Why Shall Understand Israel. Why the future of the entire world is affected by one nation with an everlasting covenant. We are fast approaching a sequence of prophetic events of which an entire generation is largely unaware. Friend, when I think about today's youth and how little most young people know about things of biblical and prophetic significance and how little they know with respect to events that are fast approaching, in fact, events that are playing out in real time, it just weighs on my heart. But I've written a book which takes everything that I would want to share with today's youth, everything that I would hope to convey if I had not just an opportunity to sit down and talk with a young person about these things that are actually taking place, where current event headlines are resembling themes in Bible prophecy, but also think of it as a course, because this book is more than a book. This book provides access to documentaries. It provides direct links to all manner of resources that are designed to get a person up to speed quickly with respect to some of the most time-sensitive and urgent information available today. We are living in that prophetic segment on God's timeline where the Bible refers to this time as the last days of the present age. In fact, I believe that it is, and I don't want to say figuratively speaking too readily, but it is that time in which not only the Apostle Peter, but the Apostle John referred to as the last hour. Now, of course, when they wrote these words, these words were prophetically speaking about a time that is in the future. But that time that was in the future for them, I believe, is upon us now. And even recently, you'll recall perhaps that in Forbes magazine there was an article about the doomsday clock and how it's been set. Uh, I think it's reset or, or the time has been changed closer and closer to midnight like 23 times. Okay. Well, with that being said, it is now, according to the doomsday clock, 100 seconds to midnight. Now, I don't put great stock in that, but what I do want to convey is the analogy of that doomsday clock. That analogy, I believe, is very fitting to understand where we are in terms of that which was prophesied thousands of years ago in the scriptures. It's all going to start happening suddenly. It's all going to start taking place even now. The birth pangs that the Lord Jesus Christ and the prophets of the Bible foretold are upon the world right now. This book, because it is in color and because it, I just had to make a decision that it would be in color because it would be an experience that you just cannot convey in black and white. This this is an experience which it had to be in color. But with that being said, it costs more because of that. Well, there's an option that I would like to make available to you if the cost of the paperback is a little bit out of 
your budget right now for a book, there is a second option available. And that second option is the Kindle version of this book. Okay, now with the Kindle version of this book, it doesn't contain as many pages as the paperback version, but you can definitely get the gist of what the paperback version is delivering. The Kindle version of this book is an electronic version which you can download to your phone and you can install the app for reading Kindle books on your phone. Now if you have a Kindle Unlimited account, guess what? You're able to download this book absolutely free, the Kindle book version. And you can read this at absolutely no cost. Once again, that's if you have an Amazon Kindle Unlimited version or an Amazon Kindle Unlimited account, I mean to say. Well, I believe that upon reading the electronic version of this book, you will probably want to obtain a paperback copy as well. And here's why because when you have a paperback version you're going to be able to gift it to someone you'll be able to give it to someone that you want to be made aware of this information and they will open up the first pages and be engaged with content which as the reviews that have been coming in would indicate that you will not be able to put it down. Once again, this is urgent, time-sensitive information. You can purchase one and give it to someone that you know would benefit from this information. If you want to dip your toe in the water, so to speak, to get a feel for the direction that this book is going in, then go to um, the listing click to look inside you'll be able to see the first pages of the book um, if you have an Amazon Kindle unlimited account you can read the whole electronic version of the book uh, at no cost and if you don't have an Amazon unlimited Kindle account then you can still get it for a few bucks okay but the point is this information is urgent and I just I came to the point where I really believe that the Lord put it on my heart to put this in the form of a book so that people who want to get up to speed with respect to these things that have been taking place, the signs of the times, would be able to do so quickly. And it is a quick read. Get yourself a copy. And even more importantly, get a copy in somebody else's hands because it will be a blessing to them. I can assure you of that. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Jesus is coming soon. He is certainly indicating through the things that we are seeing coming to pass, things that he foretold, things that the prophets of the Old Testament of the Bible prophesied thousands of years ago. We're beginning to see these things line up even now. Thanks so much for watching. Damien Jordan for the wise shall understand. God bless.